at 11 tonight, more trouble for alumni of Prince George's County High Schools. Earlier this week on the News at 11, we told you about three students who couldn't walk in their graduation because of a school mistake. Now a former student says another mistake by the school district forced him to put his college plans on hold. Here's Hillary Lane. Angelo Collington has great memories from his senior year all culminating in the best moment of all, receiving his diploma from Parkdale High School in Riverdale back in 2010. He was ready to take on the world. So I wanted to take psychology and my Juris Doctorate and kind of be a community advocate with that. He spent some time working and then signed up for online classes at the University of Maryland University College in 2015. After his second semester, in order to continue his college education, he needed to provide UMUC with his transcripts to prove that he graduated high school. He called the district's records office for a copy and was told... You didn't graduate. You have a diploma that shows that you graduated. Correct. I even have a letter saying I graduated. This letter from Parkdale's principal dated December 2009 reads that Collington has completed the requirement and has now earned the status of high school completer. But the transcripts he requested from the school and received seven years later indicate that he has not graduated. Very ludicrous. In July of 2016, Collington received a letter from UMUC that stated he would be barred from further enrollment until those documents are received. His dreams of going to law school put on hold. He now works an entry level job, but without a college education, he worries about supporting his family. I have a child, um, I have a fiance, we got to see it for a wedding. So what exactly went wrong here? We asked the Prince George's County school system and they pointed to a state audit from last year that found widespread record keeping issues, allowing students to graduate that did not meet graduation requirements. Collington insists he has met all requirements though. He's now caught in the middle of all this and says he's out of options as he continues to put his future dreams on hold. It's been very stressful, um, needless to say, very stressful. According to a Prince George's County School spokesman, the district is working on digitizing all of their records, which they say will help ensure this doesn't happen again. As for Collington, we pushed the district, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot they can do eight years after he received that diploma. We are reaching out to the State Department of Education. We'll keep you updated. Leslie. That is quite a situation. Now, we've heard more students may be in that same position, receiving a diploma and then being told later that they didn't graduate. If this happened to you, we want to hear from you. Get in touch through the WUSA 9 Facebook page or tweet us.